How's it going everyone? My name is Nori and welcome once again to Drawing for 100 Days. This is day 8. So now we have passed the one week point. And in this one, I did say we were going to do gesture today as well. But I want to focus a little bit more on copying and studying the art style that I actually want to achieve. Because that is our goal here. Our goal by the end of this 100 day thing is to make a large piece or a few pieces along the way in this art style and try to see our progress towards that art style the most. Gesture drawing is going to help get our basics down, but at the end of the day, we still need this art style down to a T. So let's go ahead and study some of these. So I've already set up a page filled with three of them. So you could clearly see that there's a, an art style going on, even if they're not from the same person. Again, I got all of these from in Pinterest. Not interest. <laughs> We're not trying to pay interest on the bank here. So my goal today is to see how these artists... I think some of this is AI art as well, but how it breaks it down into form, how it breaks down the head, uh, how the eyes look, how the nose look, and how the mouth looks especially since these are all portraits and our main focus will be portraits anyway so we want to nail the facial features down to a T uh, especially okay so let's start let's start I'm gonna do one or two with you guys depending on how long it gets if you see me speed run something out of nowhere that means uh, I'm only gonna do it up to that point with all of you okay let's start let's start this image is a little bit blurry to me, but I can make out the shape of the head here already. It's something like this. See, like that. Again, take your time drawing this shape okay and another goal I set myself is to use less go over each line less really just focus on going in in one stroke instead of just a lot of strokes because that way I'll learn a lot quicker the contour of the head it's like there again you see I have a very bad habit premium at least okay we're already getting it very wrong also if I'm too stuck on a section I'll probably speed it up as well because this stuff does just take time to learn I think I might even start from the ear. Work my way up to the head. Okay. Now let's try draw the features. Like the neck, etc, etc. You get the point. And I'll do that on the another layer. So once I'm getting serious, Always just make another layer. And then the main thing to note here is the position of the eye and the nose.
That's so funny. I could, I completely stopped talking. So I think uh, I, I sped that bit up. Uh, I'm gonna speed that bit up because I literally just entered like full zone mode because I'm so used to doing that now with every episode, but with every day, I mean. But uh, what I'm already noticing is a lot of things. If I look at my recording screen, I can see a lot of issues with how we're observing, but I'm gonna leave it, you know, I'm gonna leave it because the more we copy, the more we're gonna be good at kind of replicating the style. So I'm gonna leave it. I'm literally not even gonna touch it. So let's just keep going. Again, I, right now, I'm just training my observation skill because that's what's lacking. So we really need to just improve our ability to observe. Because what's good doing gesture and everything if you can't even observe something and be able to to replicate that, you know? Like, there is actually just no point. Again, just... Again, I can see the nose goes more upwards and then back in, like that. It's pretty much on the same eye level. Same as eye level, I mean. The eyebrow... It's kind of like there. It tapers off as well, so... Kind of like there. <laughs> and in general, I feel like what I got wrong was the width of the head, the whole head. You can see, okay, let's draw a line from the nose to the ear and then compare. I'll show you guys what I mean. So let's draw a new layer. Uh, my bad, my bad, my bad. Hold on. Okay, so nose to ear. I'm gonna make the brush a bit bigger too. So look at that. Tip of the nose to the upper point of the ear. If I move this, see? The upper point of the ear is over there. So the ear is further away. So our head is a bit more smushed in terms of the width compared to the one that's on there. And that's why this one looks better. And this one looks a whole lot weird and more pug faced. It looks like a pug. Okay. Since I'm not talking anyway, I feel like I'm just gonna speed through the two of these and then kind of see what we learn from it. So let's go ahead and do that.
<laughs> okay, so that's our second one. The eyes are good. I can't lie, the eyes are good. <laughs> the only problem again is <laughs> the weird foot. If I lassoed this and just moved it over, it would have made so much more sense. Look at it. You know what? I'm gonna keep that eye there, man. <laughs> um, that's so annoying. How I still can't get the width of the eyes just right. That is so far annoying. But hey, man, we're observing and we're improving slowly but steadily. Okay, let's do one more. So the one thing I've realized and the one thing I changed with my brush is the opacity. So we're actually going to use the G pen now instead because it's a lot cleaner. But basically when I press light, I can layer on the darks, which is what these guys kind of do, I think. I think. If you know, let me know down in the comments. Because I know AI has made this. But we can achieve a more painterly kind of style where we lay on the blacks instead of trying to do this where it's just black. So I feel like I'm going to try this for the next sketch and see how it goes.
Okay, so I think I'm finished. Honestly, I'm finished. Um, one thing to take away from this, I'm really not sure is why, because this is AI art, and I don't know how AI art technically paints, because obviously it's taking a bunch of images and merging them into one and making its own new thing. But in some areas I see opacity going down, and in others I see it bold, so maybe it's a combination of both. And I wouldn't be surprised. But again, the images aren't very high quality, so I can't really break it down too hard. But from what I can see, it's just working with black shapes for the most part, and then fading some elements. Not all of them, but some elements. But for me, breaking it down by doing the technique where I build up a line is easier, at least for me, personally. But man, this was a challenge. This was a challenge. Definitely gonna learn from this. And we're gonna be copying a lot every single day. We're gonna be copying, copying until I get the art style down because the one thing I see in common already is that every single of the lips is painted. And the only thing that has an outline is, again, the middle uh, of the lip where you have ambient occlusion going on. And ambient occlusion is where, where two surfaces touch together. But because they touch together, you get these black shadows in between. So that's what I assume is happening here and everywhere else. Another thing I need to get a hang of is eye placement. Uh, get my own eye placement going, because in here I think I did it well after moving it again. Uh, but in here, definitely eye placement was a big one because... I didn't draw the head right. It's almost like I drew the head more narrow, I think. So in turn, what that does is that kind of... The proportions are just not right, is what I'm trying to say. That's all I'm trying to say. Proportions are just incorrect. Um, but I feel like we are making progress. This one is by far my most favorite one, like the lips here. Really well done. The nose suits perfectly. Um, the other thing I didn't finish was the ear. Again, I don't want to rush that, so... I feel like I learned a lot just from this one session today. And then we apply this knowledge going into the next one, so we make our heads a bit more wider. If, if it helps me try maybe draw the circle over the top of the drawing, I've been trying to avoid doing that because that becomes a bad habit. So honestly, I'm proud. I'm proud of where we got to today. That is a massive leap in being able to draw what I see from reference. And I'm really happy with that. I'm super stoked to get into tomorrow's video now. Because now we actually get to break down this style and have fun with it, you know? The main key thing is fun. Have fun with this. Uh, discover new things, have fun with it, because you can brainwash yourself what you want, but if you don't have fun, you're going to quit, so you don't want that happening. So yeah, as always, if you guys enjoyed, make sure you smash the like button, comment down below, and subscribe if you are new, but apart from that, I'll see all of you beautiful people in the next one. Peace out.